momentum is defined as the product of an object's mass and its velocity. So we can tell for any object, we can tell the amount of momentum with the symbol P by taking the product of that object's mass and its velocity. Now, we need to remember that velocity is a vector, which means that momentum is also going to be a vector that has the same direction as the velocity of that object. If we think about momentum, we essentially think about it as how difficult it is to stop an object. We know that there are two things that make an object hard to stop, and the one is if it has a big mass, and the second is if it is moving at a very high speed. So momentum being the product of an object's mass and velocity is essentially that difficulty of stopping. So for this object over here, we have a ball that has been thrown towards a wall at seven meters per second. The ball has a mass of 625 grams. We can calculate the momentum of this ball. We know that mass should always be measured in kilograms. So that is 0.625 kilograms multiplied by the velocity of this object, which in this case is seven meters per second as it was given. And we can see then that this object has a velocity an initial momentum of 4.375 and as we can see the units here would be the units of mass multiplied by the unit for velocity that is then kilogram meters per second and then what we can also see is that the velocity was initially to the right which means that this momentum is then to the right and we can call this the initial momentum this is the momentum before anything happens as we can see this object here is going to strike the wall and then bounce away from the wall in this example i'm going to say that it bounces back at five meters per second um, obviously some energy is going to be lost to the wall as it strikes it and bounces back so we can now calculate our final momentum the momentum after this has occurred and we follow the same formula Final momentum is equal to the mass multiplied by the final velocity. The mass of this object has remained the same, also measured in kilograms. The velocity now, though, we can see is opposite in direction to the initial velocity, which is why it's important for us to choose or define a reference direction for our motion. So I'm going to pick the right as our reference direction. Obviously, you could have chosen left. What this tells us then is that if the initial velocity is positive and the final velocity is then negative 5 because it is in the opposite direction, which tells us that the final momentum is then either negative 3.125 kilogram meters per second to the right, or we can simplify that because negative right is then just 3.125 kilogram meters per second to the left and we always prefer to leave our answers in a positive form. What this can tell us now is it can tell us that the momentum of this object has changed. We can see that there was an initial momentum, there is now a final momentum that is different to that and so we can calculate our change in momentum by saying our change in momentum is equal to the final momentum minus the initial momentum which could also be written as the mass multiplied by the final velocity minus the mass multiplied by the initial velocity. We can see here that the mass remains unchanged. So this can actually be simplified as the mass multiplied by the change in velocity. Either way, we can substitute in the values that we have Again, keeping in mind that the direction is important, so we can say that our final momentum is negative 3.125 minus the initial momentum of 4.375, and we can see that our change in momentum is then negative 7.5 kilogram meters per second, or, and obviously that is a negative value, so it's to the right or we can rewrite it in the positive form 7.5 kilogram meters per second to the left.
This can be illustrated in the form of a vector diagram, which just shows the initial vector, which is our initial momentum here, which was to the right. We then draw our final momentum, which was in the opposite direction, that being to the left. And then we can show that the change in momentum is the difference between the head of the first or the initial momentum and the head of the final momentum. So here we can clearly see that our change in momentum is to the left because the ball has had to stop or slow down going in the right direction and then speed up or start to move in the negative or direction to the left which shows that our change in momentum is then to the left.